we'll start in the front with David up. Uh, can you kind of walk us through the decision-making process with Cade? And it seems like he's kind of found a home at tackle and, and why that's the case. Man, I wouldn't say home right now. Um, he's still taking reps um, inside and out. Um, really, it's about just trying to find the best five on the field. Obviously, I feel like uh, he has a real chance to be one of those five. But he's also so smart that he can help us push other guys and create competition that um, – and you got competition at guard, you got competition at tackle, and that's uh, that's really what he's done. And I, he's he's so awesome because he just wants to wants to help, want to lead, and be be wherever he can be. Yes, sir. Austin Price, coach, you, got the, you talk about the competition at guard and tackle at center. Who's the biggest guy pushing Cooper there? I mean, you know, if if it's not Cooper, it's who? Yeah. So uh, the way we're doing it is JC. Uh, Jerome is taking reps at center. Then you got Parker and Ollie. They're uh, they're kind of pushing as well. Um, and kind of went in the first day and said, "Man, if it turns out that uh, the best five happens to be with JC at center and Kate inside and another guard or two guards, or whatever it is, that's the way the best five go out." So um, Jerome's very very comfortable with either one of them. So it helps helps us be super competitive. Uh, in the back, Jimmy. Coach, how many uh, offensive linemen have you identified as starters at this point? Oh, man, let's see. That is a great question. I'm going to go old school and say identified no starter since we haven't had a tackling day in scrimmage and not go down that line just yet so I can keep the competition in the room the way that uh, it needs to be. I know that's not the answer that you want, but we are really, really pushing that it's the best five every single day. Uh, obviously, everybody knows – a couple of those guys, the way they practice and the way they compete, but um, that's I'm gonna steer away from that one. I apologize. As a follow up, what do you think your depth on the offensive line? I do think we we're deep. Um, I think that's the the, the neat thing. Um, there's four or five guys that are slugging out at guard. Same thing at tackle. Uh, you got guys that can bump and move like JC in at center, uh, Cade in at guard. Um, you know, those guys give you enough flexibility that you're deeper than you would if one guy was just backing up one position. Um, and even Dane's been able to slide back and forth and kind of help us there as well. Brent, then back to Dave. A couple questions. One, how has Darnell Wright performed at left tackle there? Because he's played right really up until this point. And two, how quickly do you want to try to get to a, a pecking order of six or seven guys for continuity? Or do you think that's a bit overrated in terms of honing in on five here in, in fall camp? Yeah, uh, to answer the first question, I think Darnell, uh, probably the first couple of days was, you know, kind of feeling it out a little bit. Uh, boy, I really feel like practice four, practice five has started to settle in, um, has done a lot better in just techniques and footwork, um, the mental aspect of knowing uh, the protection piece of it. Um, obviously, very, very talented guy. I, you know, I think it probably was challenging for him there at the beginning because he hasn't had to do it, but credit to him pushing through it and, man, starting to see the light into the tunnel for it. Uh, as far as trying to find the pecking order, boy, you'd like to at least get through the first scrimmage, give guys a chance to compete at all the spots. It is obviously important for guys to play next to each other, no doubt, but at the same time, you don't have to have guys through the season that roll and guys that come into the game and guys that are banged up for a game or two and they all need to be comfortable playing next to whoever would be that next spot. So I don't feel like we're losing it quite there. Uh, yet, but hopefully after that first scrimmage you can start to settle in, then for sure after that second one as well. Uh, you, you haven't said how many guys you feel like you've locked in that starting spot. How many guys do you feel like you have right now that you feel good about that could be a starter for you? Yeah, man, I think uh, gosh. You're in that 9-10 range for sure. Um, I do. I really, really do. And you know, I, I just I feel like every single time you step on the field, you got to go earn it. That's the first thing we talked about. And if you don't love the guy next to you enough that if he's better than you that day and he gets to start, shame on you, man. 
we're, that makes us better. And they've all got to buy into that. It's the only way we'll have a unit. And if you come out and have a bad day and you're not starting the next day, mass competition, that means it's a good thing for us. Patrick Brown and Vince. Coach, with, uh, I think you had some good things to say about uh, Javante Spragans back in the spring. How have you seen him kind of evolve over the summer, and how has he looked, to this, how has he looked to, at the start of camp? A lot um, a lot more in sync with the system. Man, where he's, he's made a lot of strides protectionally, kind of understanding who he has, but also being able to help his buddy at center, help his buddy at tackle, like not just play for himself, but kind of play um, within the scheme. There's never a question of effort or strain or any of that, but now he's kind of starting to get a, a feel for the game, obviously, and he knows there's a lot more to go, but uh, way, way different than the spring. He did a great job this summer. Where have you seen, considering how different your offense is to what the returning guys did before, where have you seen the most progress payoff maybe on the field so far in terms of reshaping their bodies, the conditioning, getting them to where they can function better in your offense compared to what some of those guys did before? Man, I can't speak uh, to before. I, did, I just know, um, I feel like, one, they understand the game of football right now better than – we did, and a lot of that was probably just installing the offense, I'm sure. But, boy, conceptually, what you can talk about without them having to see a picture, like that's when I think you know you've got learning is that you can talk about defense, where all the bodies are, and like they can conceptually see it versus what they're trying to do rule-wise. Um, I feel like a little bit different footwork than they've done on a lot of things. I think they're starting to see – how cool that is that you can mix up techniques, you can mix up uh, schemes, and the defense isn't sitting there um, waiting on a certain run or a certain um, play, and that it kind of gets really, really fun at that point. So that, that's probably – I feel like they're having fun doing different things, uh, and I feel like they're enjoying learning the game of football. Anything physically in terms of the pace of Yeah, I mean, they're obviously better shape in um, – Kurt is correct to that, just the way he conditions those guys, um, the way they got to push at practice. I, you know, I think their bodies look different than when they came in. But, um, again, man, I, I, I got no credit for that. It's all Kurt and themselves working at it. A few more, Mike Wilson and Eric King. Yeah, Karon Calvert wasn't going through drills with you guys today. What's his status? Man, all right. I feel like Coach Hypo is the one that's supposed to speak on all of those type of things. So, again, I'm going to kind of not make a comment on that. Eric King? Well, how important is it for depth of that tackle position for William Parker, Crawford, and um, some of those other guys to really come along in, spring, or in, in camp to, to be ready to go this fall? Sure, absolutely. But, it, again, to me, that's every position, man. It just what we're trying to breed. But, yeah, um, right now, everybody's in the mix. Um, and, you know, it, there is no – if a guy's here or not here um, for a day or so, whatever it is, shoot, next guy steps up until everything's back, and then you're rocking and rolling again. Coach, I think Darnell's down something like 25 plus pounds since last year. When you got here and started watching last year on film and what he was able to do versus the guy you had in the spring versus the guy you have right now, I'm not talking about left side, right side. How different is he? And then RJ Perry, what have you seen out of him through the first five practices? Uh, Nell's def definitely different. I think, um, one, he's, Again, just enjoyed learning the game of football. Tries different techniques. I think sometimes you don't know what you don't know. Um, and again, credit to him, Kurt, for pushing himself, trying to change eating habits, get his body weight right. Uh, makes a difference in just being able to last. Makes a difference in his twitch, everything else. Uh, I feel like, you know, credit to Kay Mays, too, and some of the other guys that have kind of helped and um, been there for him. Uh, and obviously credit to Darnell, just – Dude's trying to get better, trying to be a, a great uh, man and a great football player, and I, I think he's he's done a great job. Hopefully he'll continue down that path. 
RJ uh, still coming along. Um, I think he's figured out how to go work, um, what it takes in all aspects, not just the game of football. Um, I really enjoy being around RJ every single day. Just young guy, keep on coming. He's always trying to find that next uh, thing to work on, always trying to see what he can improve, um, which is cool. And you got to keep on, keep on doing that piece of it. Kind of a follow-up, a previous question. Are you pleased with the conditioning of the offensive linemen? And are there any offensive linemen you feel like need to either gain weight or lose weight? Uh, gosh, at this point in camp, pleased. I think we're where we're supposed to be. Um, I think right now you're learning how to go play through a drive, finish a drive tired, play yourself into shape. Uh, so it's kind of like a... Yes, we're probably where we need to be. Are we there yet? Absolutely not. Like there's, there's some pushing, there's some grinding, there's some sticking through it left to um, be done for sure. Um, you know, there's a couple guys that need to gain weight, but again, man, I, I'd hate to say that and somebody uh, is listening to me and they're trying to figure out who those guys are. That'd be a shame. So I, I'm gonna steer away from that one. Um, I know, I know you've asked questions. I haven't answered them, but, uh, boy, I just don't like to give anybody a fair advantage.